Dat Santo Evangelio según San Marcos. En aquel tiempo Jesús y sus discípulos terminaron la travesía del lago y tocaron tierra en Genesaret. Apenas bajara de la barca, la gente los reconoció, reconoció y de toda aquella región acudiana a él a cualquier parte donde sabían por qué entraba, encontraba y llevaba en camillas a los enfermos. A donde, a, a donde quiera que llegaba en los poblados, ciudades y o oh, caserios, la gente le ponía a sus enfermos en la calle, calle y le rogaba que por lo menos los dejara tocar la punta de su manto. Y cuantos lo tocaban, quedaban curados. Palabra del Señor. Wow. Lo siento otra vez. ¿Alguien? ¿Dos le le lenguas? No. ¿Inglés y español? No. Not you, not you, yes. Speak English or Spanish? Un poco, not enough to translate my name, huh? I didn't think so. Senora? Si or no? Huh? No English. Entiende. Un poco. Senorita? English and Espanol? You want to translate? Want to translate my English into Spanish? Senor, si o no? English is fine. Senor, no problema? Okay, very good. Well, you're very understanding. Very understanding. Thank you. Thank you. My Spanish, not so good, though. It's because I'm rusty. It's been a long time. Mass, no problem. The readings, all right, long time. But anyway, so lo I, I just want to, well, the first reading is the very beginning of the Bible. The very beginning of the Bible. And we may not have heard the entire Genesis story. Notice the first half of creation. But we hear at the end of the Genesis story, after hearing that you know God created the earth and the heavens and the sea, it was good and good and good. But when he made man, it was very good. Very good. Because God made man in his image and likeness. Right, so we're very good, very good. So I have Christian brothers and sisters who think that we're redeemed by Christ because we have no good in us is not true. And Jesus sees the good in us. And he wants to build or grow that goodness in us so that we can pour it out of us towards others. That's what he wants, right? Lately, I've been on this spiritual kick, especially with people who come to me for spiritual direction. And I know that all of us here, all of us, probably tell Jesus often, I love you, Jesus. I love you, right? Te amo, Señor, Jesus, right? I love you. But how often do we think about this? How often do we look at Jesus and say, Jesus, I know you love me. 
I know you love me. Because sometimes we forget how lovable we are and how much Jesus loves us. So that is what I'd like everyone here to take away tonight. That Jesus loves us very much. He made us very good. He loves us in our goodness. And go out and tell the world that. Right? We, we say, well, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Right? But how about, Jesus loves me, and I want to share that love, his love for you. Amen.